After spending 11 seasons in the NFL, all in the AFC, former linebacker Bart Scott has become very familiar with one Tom Brady. While Scott doesn't question Brady's talent accolades on the field, off the field, he's not nearly as impressed. Listen to this. There's nothing tough about Tom Brady. The toughest thing about Tom Brady is his chin because it has to dimple in it, which is a characteristic of most superheroes. Come on, man. Tom Brady, though, don't think he's tough. Giselle doesn't think Tom Brady is tough. Listen, I respect him, but he plays the game differently. No different from the way that, that Peyton Manning plays it. But listen, it's certain guy, Steve McNair, tough guy. He was a guy that could hang with anybody. Listen, I respect Tom Brady, but when he does that, he looks like a dork. How many times have he missed air high fivers? He's missed celebrations because it's just awkward. He's a cornball. You've seen him dance. He's a cornball. It's fine. He's a cornball that was a six-round draft pick that became maybe the best quarterback in the history of football, and he has a hot wife, he has a great life, and he has a bunch of hardware. That's great. But does that not make you a cornball? No. Still a cornball. I'm sure his teammates tell me he's a cornball. <laughs> it's fine. There's nothing wrong with being a cornball. Skip, can't wait to hear what mm. you have to say about this. Stephen A. Smith, obviously I'm a Tom Brady fan. This was beyond offensive to me because it came off as a gratuitous, uncalled for bunch of low blows and cheap shots. Perhaps born of jealousy or just the frustration of having had your butt kicked by Tom Brady eight times out of the 11 that you played against him, Bart Scott. I know Bart, we've had him here on the show, respect his opinions. I don't know if he was just playing to the crowd here or against the crowd, so to speak. I don't know if he was just trying to attract attention, but to suggest Tom Brady isn't tough is just out of bounds. Anybody who plays quarterback in the National Football League as, Tom, as long as Tom Brady and Peyton Manning have, have to have some element of toughness. Bart is suggesting that Tom and Peyton have perfected playing the game on a level sort of above football, that, that they dink and dunk and get rid of the ball quickly. Listen, Tom Brady has taken a whole lot of shots in his career, and he's got right back up, and even though you have accused him of tap dancing like the late, great Gregory Hines, he just keeps on <clears throat> keeping on. I have never in all my years of watching pro football seen a more competitive player than Tom Brady is competitive. The closest thing to Michael Jordan in today's National Football League, not NBA, but NFL, is this guy, Tom Brady. You can call him a dork, you can call him a cornball. He's a different kind of dude. We saw the video of him kissing Bob Kraft on the cheek the other day, and several friends of Tom Brady's have told me that, believe it or not, when he hasn't seen them for a while and he greets them, he'll kiss them on the cheek. Does that mean he's not a tough guy? You're going to question his manhood because he's just a different kind of guy? I don't, because I'm here to tell you that Tom Brady, if push comes to shove, you, you push him into a corner and say, fight for your life, I, I wouldn't want to mess with the guy. I don't think Bart Scott would want to mess with him in a situation like that, because Tom Brady is the kind of guy you would have to kill him to whip him in a fight. That's my view of Tom Brady, because I've seen Psycho Tom go off on teams and bury them in ways that I've rarely seen a superstar quarterback play with that kind of emotion and passion. So you, you can say all you want. You, you can rip the great Tim Duncan in the NBA and say he's a different kind of dude. He's only got five rings. I was a big Steve McNair fan. Loved him. Loved watching him play. He'd run over those linebackers and he wound up with zero rings. Brady four rings, Duncan five rings, no Duncan, Duncan five. Are they tough guys? Boy, they're tough in their own ways. So, Bart, I'm sorry, I'm out on this one. Still love you guy, but this was uh, uh, nothing but gratuitous and cheap. <clears throat> well, let me say this to you. First of all, I don't blame you for your position that you're taking, because I understand where you're coming from. If you heard Bart Scott's comments and that's all you had to go on, which in this case you do, I totally understand where you're coming from and I would agree with you. But what I would ask you to do is take several things into consideration. 
number one, who we're talking about here and what the history is as it pertains to the Ravens, which Bart Scott played for before he went to the Jets, along with Tom Brady and all that it encompasses. Skip Bayless, nobody's going to question the toughness of Tom Brady. In, 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 in reality, the man is a champion four times over, one of the greatest quarterbacks we've ever seen, arguably the greatest quarterback of this generation. You know, in terms of his resume, it's just impeccable. He has the most impeccable resume in the modern day era of any quarterback playing. That is just a fact. It is just that simple. Having said all of that, I took the liberty of calling Bart Scott a half hour before this morning's show. Because when I heard the tape, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you say something like that? And he pointed out he was on a radio show. He was playing around because the host and callers were calling in to get on him about Tom Brady. So he didn't mean anything by it. He was playing around. Choice of words, choice of tenor didn't seem to be appropriate because you know people are just going to pull that clip out, run with it, etc., etc. He's in a hot seat right now because he's on network television. He's doing his show and he's got to be more cognizant of how his words can be taken and how they can be attributed to him in a far more egregious way than he had meant. So we all get that. In that regard, he regrets it because he certainly didn't mean for it to come across like that. What he meant it to come across as is that we're football players. And when we think about Rough Riders, we think about somebody like a big Ben Roethlisberger. He's thinking about Tom Brady and Peyton Manning in a different mindset that he would think about somebody like a big Ben Roethlisberger who'd stand in the pocket, would take hits. He's the kind of guy that can hang out with offensive linemen. If you remember Skip Bayless, years ago, Joey Porter was playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they were about to go up against Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts, and he had come across as being somewhat disrespectful towards Peyton Manning because he lamented how Peyton Manning would engage in trickery, trying to draw you off sides, trying to sit there and use trick things to sort of, you know, get you out of your game instead of quote unquote manning up, going on mano y mano and beating me or allowing me to beat you. You know, when you got rough riders as football players, sometimes they lament that. They get, they, they get upset by stuff like that, getting beat because somebody tricked them as opposed to just manning up and going up against them and taking them down. So a guy like Bart Scott has that kind of mindset, just like the Ray Lewis's and the Ed Reed's and all of these guys of the world have that mindset. Because when they went up against the Patriots, a lot more often than not, they felt like, well, listen, let's, let's go at them. Nobody's scared of them. Everybody talking about them like they're the golden boys, et cetera, et cetera. And when you've got a testosterone-filled game like the game of football, sometimes that kind of language is going to be used. It doesn't mean that you don't respect their resume, you don't respect their accomplishments, you don't respect their greatness. What you're saying is, don't come to me with the toughness compared to us. And whether he's right or wrong, that's the only context he meant it in. And I think that if you had talked to him personally, anybody who would talk to him personally would understand the context in which he meant it. But since we didn't, since you didn't, and all you have to go on is the tape, I can't blame you for taking that position. Okay, quick points of order. I, I dare you to go find me a quarterback who's closer to his offensive line than Tom Brady is hanging out with his offensive lineman. They okay. love this guy. Yep. They hang with right. this guy. I dare Correct. you to go find a quarterback who is considered more one of the locker room guys than Tom Brady mm -hmm. is with the Patriots. That they, they want to ride with Tom Brady. I realize they don't want him to run over linebackers like McNair did. I give you that. He doesn't play that kind of football. But again, there, there are different definitions of toughness, and mine well, is we know broad that. enough. Yeah, it's broad enough that, that Tom Brady qualifies as a tough guy to me. Maybe yeah, but, not but, but, the same but I'm way saying, Ray and but, Bart do, but go ahead. Right, right, but, but, but what I'm saying to you is get away from that because 
In reality, in reality, nobody's questioning that. Because why should Tom Brady go out there and be a fool and try to run over dudes when he doesn't have the physicality to pull that off? Okay. That would just be dumb. It we know be. that. Yep. So, so, and they, in and, and their heart of hearts, they know that. But we can't sit here and knock guys for expressing themselves in certain kind of ways when about Tom Brady when you and I both okay. have sat here on many occasions and have debated the issue of people league-wide being jealous of him. Not only is, is, is he a great Super Bowl champion, he's had the benefit of playing for a great coach his entire career, a great organization his entire career. And then on top of it all, you know, he's got the supermodel wife and now his wardrobe has been upgraded where he just, he just looks sharp. I mean, I had, Skip, I cannot tell you, I had so many women texting me. Did you, I'm sitting so there like, many. what happened to Tom Brady? They said, did you see Tom Brady? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What happened? What happened? Well, you get hit by a car or something? They're like, no. Did you see him walking into the courthouse with that blue suit on? Good Lord. Oh, my God. This is what they were saying to me. I mean, this is how they were acting. So everywhere you go, everybody loves and praises and, and, and just worships mm -hmm. at the altar of Tom Brady. You're going to have football players that are going to have an attitude over that. Okay. But it's nothing more than that, so let's not make it more than that. Okay, I, I, still, even though Bart is telling you that a lot of that was said in sarcasm in response to the callers, I, sure. I still believe there's truth among the sarcasm, that between the sure. lines, he's still speaking his heart. Last quick Wait. point, last quick yeah. point. What team uses, utilizes the quarterback sneak more than any team? and very successfully, the Patriots. So you gotta give Brady a little bit of credit because they will sneak on you like crazy. They'll just put it in his hands at but, 64 but, 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 and he will stick his head through the line of scrimmage. But, but, all you're doing, but, but all you're doing is validating the level of animosity, friendly, professional animosity that people like Bart Scott, and, Bart, Bart Scott and many others may feel about Tom Brady with what you just said because they're thinking about the four rings. They're yep. thinking about the perennial championship contenders. They're thinking about his life overall, and yet Skip still finds here to find yet another increment or, 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 or might do detail to praise him even more. It's the kind of thing that'll make other players just completely nauseated and disgusted Good. because there Be are nauseated. enough reasons to celebrate him. Why does Skip Bayless have to find something even additional? The next thing, what you gonna talk about him next? Well, Stephen A, did you see the color socks that Tom Brady had on? They really, really look good. That. I mean, what's next? Yeah. What's next? That's all I'm saying. So that would, that would annoy players sometimes. That's I what you gotta understand. Case. Bart Scott is 3-8 and eight versus Brady in his career, and I have issue with one thing. Please don't speak for Giselle how she feels about her man. I didn't mm. like that, or referring to her as hot. You can say beautiful, but I think it's a little That's disrespectful fair. when it's somebody's wife. It was an overtime thriller in the Steel City last night, but Pittsburgh came up on the short end of the stick. Why couldn't they pull it off? Ryan Clark will join us, former Steeler, and we'll get into that wild one last night.